Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy with another great video for you guys. And this is my co-star, the XE2 by Fujifilm. How you doing everybody? Hope you're doing pretty good. Oh, XE2, this is not about you today. Actually it is. Okay, uh, he talks. Actually, this is about the XE2. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to be updating the firmware on this camera body today. I don't know if there was is a new firmware available made by Fuji. Um, but I'm gonna check. I heard there was one, but I didn't follow through with it and I totally forgot about it. So if you're in the same boat as me, this is great. We can follow along together and see how we can do this step by step. And in the end, hopefully you and I will have the most updated version of this camera at the time. So if there's a new one by the time you watch this, you just repeat the steps that I'm showing you today and the process is the same. Um, good news, if you have the X-E1 or the X-T1, the process is identical to those cameras or the other mirrorless cameras that Fuji makes um, at this time. So go ahead, get very excited, and uh, we're very excited. We're gonna be updating my firmware. All right, jeez, he's so eager, right? Calm down. Come on, let's go. Come on. All right, let's update the Fuji X-E2 together. If you look down here, there is a back button right there, display back button. I'm going to hold that down, okay? I'm not holding down anything else except the back button, and then turn on the camera at the same time. Do not let go of the back button until you see this white screen. Now you can let everything go. Check that out. What does it say? Never mind the lens version right now, we'll get into that later. The body version is 3.0 for the X-E2, this particular body. Yours might say something different depending on when you updated it. So I don't forget, I'm going to write this down. X-E2. So. That's where we're at right now. Let's go to the next step. Okay, so my XE2 has version 3.0 as a firmware. Let's find out if there is one that's more recent that I have not downloaded. Let's go to the internet and type in XE2 firmware. You'll see in the very first link here that the description says version 3.10. That means we are one behind, which is very cool. Let's click uh, the first link here. And we can indeed confirm that the new version is 3.10. Remember, I have version 3.0. Here are the details for the update. Um, let's see here. Oh, it looks like there was version 3.01 and then 3.10. So it looks like I missed out on probably two different updates since I was at version 3.0. Well, there you go. This newer update uh, involves being compatible with the 35 millimeter weather resistant lens and the teleconverter here that I do not have. Um, but it doesn't matter because this newer version of the update will include all the other bug fixes and previous updates that I have missed out on. So just because um, you've missed out on, you know, on this equipment doesn't mean you shouldn't download the updates that you missed out on. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, go to the bottom here, click I agree, begin download, and wait till it loads, and we'll see here, again, 3.10, I've missed out on two updates, it appears, um, and press begin download. Before you do that, though, fwup0004.dat, this is the file you're going to be looking out for, okay? So if you can't find it, um, do a search for this name. I don't know why, but it downloads twice. So just cross out one of them. It downloads the first one faster. Now, where is it going to the up? It's maybe to your downloads folder or your desktop. Uh, you're going to do a search for that. Only you know where your downloaded content goes. Mine goes to a downloaded folder, but it may very well for you go to your desktop. Okay, it is completed. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Here we go. All right, so there it is. I'm going to drag it out to my desktop so you guys can all see that. So after all that, I found that I do need an update, and there is the file. 
that contains all the previous updates as well. So like I said before in a previous video and just now, don't concern yourself with updating your, all the other files. You can cause more screw-ups. Just download the most recent one that you can find and you'll be fine. Let's go to the next step. The key is to get that file on this camera. We do that by making sure, number one, that your battery is fully charged. If your battery is not charged, it can mean big problems for your camera or your lens or whatever it is you're updating. So make sure that your battery does not die. Put a fresh one in there, okay? If you have a new fresh battery, take out your memory card, okay? And leave it off the side for now. For this step here, you're going to need a card reader. I have a really cheap one here. It's served me well. And all you do is stick this in here or whatever it is you're using. And put this in your computer. When I inserted my memory card, it registers on my computer. Now everyone's computer is a little different, so mine's a, a Mac, yours might be a PC, but it should show up somewhere on your computer, okay? This is your memory card that you put into your camera. Let's open that up. Okay, here is your folders of, I don't know what goes in here, but we're not going to be dealing with these folders, okay? So click out of those, and remember here you can see I go into the card itself and I do nothing else except drag this file that we downloaded from the Fuji website and just drag it in to your card. You see it's uh, kind of copying over there. Okay, so there it is. You didn't you notice I did not put it in here. I did not put it in here. I left it outside. Okay? I hope that makes sense. I'm going to do that one more time for you guys. Okay, I'm going to take this file, hold on to it, and drag it in to your card. That's it. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not putting in any other folder. I just want to re reiterate that, okay? Now that's done, I'm going to eject my card safely. Uh, if you just yank it out of your computer, it can cause complications, so don't do that. Okay, so what I did was I put this file on the card and I ejected the card. Let's go to the next step. Okay, so I just ejected properly um, the, the memory card here, so I'm safe to take it out. On this card is that small file that I got from the internet. I put it on this card. This goes right back in to my camera slot here. Uh, keep in mind, uh, I want to reiterate again that your battery should be completely charged. You never know how long these updates take. If you think it, uh, if it, it might die on you, don't use that battery. Charge it up or use a different battery altogether. Safely put your card back in the slot securely and close it back up. Are you with me so far? Good. If you have any questions, let me know. Now, we're not just going to turn on the camera at this point, so don't skip ahead. We're going to press the back button just like we did before, and then turn it on. Same time. Don't let go of the back button until you see a white screen. Now you can let go of the back button. You see it says, ensure the battery is fully charged. The body version is 3.0, and the red up here says, firmware upgrade. So the camera knows what's going on. It knows that you have a 3.0 and the information you put on that card is a 3.10 so it wants to upgrade. Look at the bottom menu here. It says OK for yes and back for cancel. OK is this middle button right there, the menu OK. That's saying yes, we want to go from 3.0 to 3.10, the new file we put on that card. Press OK now it gives you a choice for body and lens. We're upgrading the body firmware, not the lens firmware. So go to body, press OK again. Firmware upgrade OK. It's going from 3.0 to 3.10. That's correct. 
It wants to go to cancel, press OK, up for OK, and press the menu button right there. Do not open the battery cover nor turn off the camera when the lens is attached. Uh, never remove it. Okay, does that make sense? Good. Press OK. Now it is processing. I think I'm two upgrades behind, but um, like I said, always, always go to the newest, most latest version of the firmware. Um, this might take a few minutes, so I might speed through this. As it upgrades here, you'll see that the squares uh, go from light blue to a dark solid blue, and this lets you know the progress. So if you think it's stalling, it's probably not. Do not turn the camera off. Do not mess around with it. Don't start taking pictures with it. Don't take out the battery or anything like that. Let this camera body and the firmware update do its job, okay? So just wait. We're almost done here. I kept my camera pretty updated, so that's why it's taking not as long, but your camera might take longer. Okay. It says here the firmware upgrade is completed. Please turn off the camera. I'm now at a version 3.10. That's pretty cool. So I'll turn off the camera. Now I'm just going to turn it back on. Looks pretty normal, right? Nothing big that I see is a big difference. Let's turn it off again and check the firmware update. Remember, press the back and then turn it on while holding down that first button. Look at that body version now. It's at a 3.10. That means we've updated it successfully and there are no more issues uh, in regards to the weather resistant lenses that we might be getting in the future or any other things that they fixed. So that's pretty cool. I hope this helps you guys. If you have any more questions, please let me know and enjoy your new firmware. Thank you. Bye-bye. Come on! Oh, these are good.